Hello everyone, today let us continue looking at uh, the post functions on cloud using uh, Scriptner for Jira. Now the workflow that uh, we were working on was this one where we have uh, of course nothing much apart from these three states I added this new state called on hold and in the, in the last video we basically removed the issue from the sprint when the issue was moved to on hold. Now let us see what all what else we can do uh, with the script runner post functions on cloud. So I'll go to post functions and uh, I want to try something else, something uh, uh, interesting. So I can add a new post function on the on the right hand side. There is a link called add a post function, and uh, the post function that I want to add is a script runner post function. So let us take a look at uh, the options. I want to first take a look at these uh, default, not default, but these built-in post functions. So we looked at add remove from sprint, which worked. We also have assign issue, assign issue to the last assigned issue in a specified role or from user group. This looks interesting because it has some other options like role and user group. Let us see what all we can do. So I'm trying to maybe think of a use case where uh, this can be used. So it says enable post function and uh, maybe I want to add a description assigned to someone and uh, there is a con script con context. So I believe uh, this, is, this is something that you can do further to have some additional conditions. Now it says on top project role and um, and uh, you also have uh, if you do not specify uh, let us read. So project role is of course the list of uh, you know different project roles that we have. Let us select administrator because I am admin and it says user with this role will be selected user with this role will be selected okay and uh, user group if you do not specify project role user from this group will be selected okay but uh, i'll select all of them like both of them so let us click on the add button and uh, let us see what all it can do so we will publish this i think uh, we can just add one I have never really tried this particular uh, post function and I am trying to figure out by looking at, uh, by just playing with it. So we have a post function which is, uh, which will basically move the issue to not, yeah, move the issue or assign the issue to someone either from a project role or uh, user group administrator and this particular uh, post function or this workflow was actually on Android project. So I'll go to my Android project and uh, I will I, I will probably try to find an issue. I'm trying to think of I, I'm not sure how it will work. I'm just trying to figure out. Um, so will it assign it? Will it assign the issue randomly? Because there can be more than one user. I have no idea. Let us see. Let us see how it works. So I'll, I'll probably create a new issue. I think uh, we don't really have, um, yeah, maybe we, yeah, we do have issues like backend functionality and login functionality. Let us open login functionality and uh, let us try to, to move the issue to on hold. It is already on, on hold. Let us move it to, to do again. And right now the issue is not assigned to anyone. And I want to see what it can do. So if I click on the on hold, will it assign the issue to someone? Not yet. I will probably refresh it, uh, refresh these the issue, and uh, I will try to understand. So even af after refreshing the issue, there is no assignee, and uh, I will uh, probably go back to the workflow and take a look at the post functions uh, history so if i click on the edit again 
I think it will probably pick the user from the uh, maybe it will pick the previous assignees. I I, I don't know. L let us click on uh, on hold transition post function and uh, let us take a look at the history. So hopefully there will be something. Yes. So we we do have some problem here. So it says execu execution failed. Now let us read this. So it says the serializing object into blah 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 uh, failed to get rolled with ID one zero zero four zero. Okay. All right. So it is complaining about the complaining about the role. And let me modify this. Let us first focus on the role, and then uh, we'll try the group. So it says, first let us read the description. It says, assign issue to last assigned user in a specified role. Okay, so I think the issue has to be assigned to someone. And I believe it will pick the user from this particular role. Okay, so let us uh, remove this. Can I remove it? So, yeah, we can empty this. So I just want to focus on uh, ro role administrator. And what I want to also check is, do I have someone in, in the project administrator role? I guess they should be. Let us publish the workflow and uh, let us go back to the... But the problem is that on cloud... Let us see. Let us see if I can uh, do something here. So it says... Uh, so the problem is that on cloud, these roles are not editable but because I am Jira administrator I am part of the role already let me go back to the issue and uh, let us try something uh, else I will assign the issue to maybe myself and uh, then I will uh, unassign the issue can I I'll just wait for the issue to refresh and in the meantime I will also move the issue back to to do so what I want to do is I want to basically make sure that the issue was assigned to someone because as per the description, it says it will pick the assignee from the previous list of assignees. So we do have a previous list of assignees and uh, if I now move the issue to on hold, hopefully it will work. No, not yet. So I will uh, refresh, the, refresh the issue and uh, I'll then verify. Hopefully I am doing the right thing and uh, I don't I don't really see anything here. So let us take a look at the workflow again one more time. Workflows and uh, edit the workflow and I will uh, take a look at the to do to on hold. Post function And I think there will be some error. So it says execution failed. And again, it says uh, failed to get rolled with ID 10040. So basically, it is saying that there is no role. Um, there is one, end, one rest endpoint, which hopefully I can uh, also check in the browser or maybe I can use the talent API tester so we do have a problem there is no role uh, there is nothing returned so maybe it will not work with the roles let, let us uh, I'm not I'm not sure I'm, I have no idea uh, why it is not working but I will probably switch to a group to see whether this will work or not So I will go to the, but I will definitely check this, why it is not really working. The error is there, I mean, um, I mean, there is nothing here. I believe the project role, maybe I'm using a cloud free version, that is the reason, but I will, I will do further investigation. So let's, let us get rid of the role and let us use the group instead. So I will uh, update the workflow and I will publish it. 
Favor backup copy? No, not really. Thank you very much. So now we have uh, now we have uh, this post function looking for the user group, user in a user group, and if the user was the previous assignee, then it should assign the issue. So let us move the issue to to do again and back to on hold. So if we refresh the issue, there is, I don't really see anything yet. No, nothing, nothing happening here. If I go to the workflow, and if I now take a look at the workflow, transition, post function, hist execution history, hopefully I'll get some idea. So I'll go to the on hold post function. Maybe I'm missing something here. It is saying execution succeeded and uh, there are no users from group Jira administrators. So, okay, not bad, but I am part of Jira administrator group or uh, maybe not, I need to check. So let us take a look at the users, user management section and uh, I will just add myself, I should be. I should be part of a Jira administrator group. So Jira administrator and uh, if I click on it, oh, come on. Let me add it. Let, let me add myself to the group. And uh, let us know. I think this is this group for something that I created. I don't really remember, to be honest. But we, we we made some progress. That is a good thing. And if I now go back to the issue, and if I try to do something again, so let us go back to to-do, and uh, let us try to, so basically what I am trying to do is I want to basically assign the issue to someone who is part of the Jira administrator group, but that someone should be the previous assignee as well. I think this I think this is what it will do. So let us click on the on hold and uh, if I refresh the yep, so it worked now. yep, perfect. So I think uh, now we know how it works and uh, I think uh, this is this is something that I wanted to also check. We will continue checking other post functions. The reason I am uh, playing with the post functions is that people ask a lot about post functions. They want to do things when the transition has happened and the post function is, is something really great uh, feature in Jira and with the help of scripted post functions you can of course uh, not only execute your own script but uh, you can you can basically also use the, the built-in scripts. So. In the next video, we will continue looking at what all we can do with the uh, scripted post functions. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.